Here are my assistants. Here are my assistants, <laughs> Frank Danino, Claudia Meldahl. I'm Jason Linder. I'm a Sony Artist of Imagery. I'm here at the Old South Bay at the Old Gatorland in Florida. We're about to urban explore, share it with you guys, and uh, hope you like it. This place looks amazing. I'm sure it's full of snakes, maybe some gators, definitely spiders. So if you're squeamish, this isn't the place to be. But if you love old crap, this is exactly where you want to be. Let's go. I have my assistant in California telling me that Popo are on the way. You know, I think one of my favorite things... Whenever I've gone urban exploring, one of my favorite things is actually watching nature take back a place. That's probably my single favorite thing about, like, like watching this, this banyan tree, and I'm assuming it's a banyan tree because I've seen them in Hawaii. But one of the, my favorite things is watching nature take a place back. Uh, and I just remind you of uh, where we stand in the world. I know I think humans are fantastic, but uh, when you look at this, and you're like, if we just disappeared, eventually Mother Nature would wipe out our existence, and it's just wild. So crazy stuff. Uh, I'm I'm assuming this was the main entrance. Uh, I don't know much about this place. I know that it. Uh, it's been closed for decades. So the fact that there's a building still up after decades is pretty cool. So we're gonna explore some of the grounds, see what we find. Again, since it's been shut down for so many years, I have no idea what we're gonna find, but uh, whatever we do, we'll share it with you. I think the thing that always strikes me about these places is when you see something that existed decades ago and is still sitting here. I don't know, it's just, uh, I always envision what used to be here. So it's always, that's one of the reasons I love exploring these places is because of that. I am now standing where presumably a gator once stood. I feel very, very honored to be here. Most frequently asked question I get regarding urban exploring is, Jason, how do you find these places? G-O-O-G-L-E. <laughs> That's how you find them, guys. <laughs> Google them up, see if they exist. And the, the tough part about urban exploring is sometimes you, you hit gold, like this is a gold, and other times you go there and it's taken away. So you have to be patient if you're gonna do this. Just for the record, it's in the 90s, it's Florida, it's June. Why am I wearing a long sleeve shirt? It's bugs and scratches. So I might be sweaty and miserable, but that's, that's something that will go away. The bug bite scratches, poison ivy, that kind of stuff doesn't. So no matter how miserable I might be from a, a sweating heat perspective and I'm getting chased by, by insects as we speak, I still always uh, wear long sleeve stuff because I've had poison ivy way too many times to ever want to have it again. Some big birds down here. Could you imagine a bride walking down this? Frank, you should totally bring a bride here, dude. It'd be amazing. Like walking down right here. And this is a perfect time of day, too.
Maybe they think I'm a two-legged alligator. I love stuff like this. Oh, that poor bird's hurt. They aren't used to visitors. Oh, yeah. Oh, this whole place. I would be all, there's a gator right there. See it? He's a good sized dude too. That's a good sized gator. Come here, Papi Chulo. Actually, I saw him moving. Earlier on, I saw something moving through the brush. Did you? Yeah, I really did, no joke. I thought that's probably a gator and that makes a lot of sense. He's a big boy too. Uh, okay, that's freaking huge. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big one. Holy mackerel. Yeah. That thing's been feeding on birds. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Gatorland. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Gatorland. I feel like that old man in Jurassic Park, welcome. Gator Park. That's a big alligator, guys. That's yeah. a big one. Take your leg off in a heartbeat. They so let's go see if we can find some that. more. They have prosthetics for that, yeah. Dude, I love this crap so much, you have no idea. Now, if you hear hissing, that's an alligator. They don't roar, they hiss. For the viewers at home, this is probably the dumbest thing you could do. So I'm just telling you, unless you're dumb like me, don't do this. Walk slowly, keep your eyes peeled. And for the record, if something did happen, you keep filming. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it scurried right along through here, so that had to have been it. Oh, is it coming this way? It was up here, and as we were walking, it ran down. I saw something moving, I'm like, I wonder if that's a gator. There's some sort of old shack. There is no telling what used to be in here. I was like, is that Frank? <laughs> you know why I don't get sick of weddings, Frank? It's because I do stuff like this. I keep telling photographers, if you mix up what you do, You'd be amazed at how you keep everything fresh and, and lively. For the viewers at home's sake, the best thing you can do when you're dealing with wild animals, unless they're like lions, <laughs> but uh, even bears, gators, stuff like that, don't surprise them. Worst thing you can do is surprise them, make lots of noise. It's kind of kind of counterintuitive to always, you know, thinking that if we're quiet, that uh, we'll be safe, and if they don't know where we're at. Most animals have better hearing than we do, so if you surprise, they, they, they'll usually know. And if you just sneak up on them and you don't really announce yourself by making lots of noise, you're gonna get it, unless you walk right into their nest. But snakes, they'll usually run away from you. Gators usually go away. Bears will usually at least give you some distance unless they are hungry. But uh, some bears, not all bears. But long story short, sorry about all the mosquitoes that are attacking me, but um, make noise. Don't be afraid to make noise when you're dealing with animals.
I was hoping the gator would come up and try to bite the camera. Too bad. I actually need to get a still picture of this. I sometimes forget to do that. Yeah. Stay where you are, look out, or to your... Left? To your right. Towards you? Yeah, no, yeah, I want this, the reflection in your glasses. Like this? Yeah, looking down at the camera first. Now looking straight out. Now a little bit more to your right, just a bit. Nope, go back the other way. Right there, don't move. Dude. <laughs> mm. Nice, Frank! Frank's, Frank's, Frank's moving up the charts real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Good lighting. Yeah, excellent lighting. I know there's different strokes for different folks, but how could you not have fun doing something like this? I mean, seriously, this is a blast. Look before you step. There's an, wow, there's a little wooden bridge over here. Deal underneath? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, actually, it is. <laughs> Look at Frankie boy going to town. <laughs> Frank Donino, alligator whisperer. <laughs> okay, good. Here, gator, 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 gator. Here, gator, 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 gator. Do I have a death wish? No, I have a fun wish. Now, if I didn't have a flight to catch, I would literally put a camera on a tripod there on a time lapse and leave it there for hours and let the birds and the gator and everything come back. And that'd be amazing. Chances are they wouldn't touch it. Hey, look over here, guys. You can't even barely tell, but this used to be like a a pen. How oh, crazy. Imagine this would have been where they would have held some more gators. Yeah, I think part of me uh, truly loves these places also because of the fact that I, I'm, a, I, I'm a history lover. I love history and I love looking at old places, you know, it's bringing history to life. It's pretty cool. That's the kind of stuff we're walking through. There's just a bug I blew off my lens. Oh! <laughs> Mouthful of spider web, and there's a big old spider right there. I just walked right into that. That spider's not too happy with me. I'll leave your spider web alone. That's the only downfall to looking through the camera and not watching where you're walking. Old pens, old wire cages and stuff. These bugs are loving me. Uh, 
Hurst thing about taking pictures right now is I'm getting eaten alive. Oh, attracted to my sweat. Another cage. Yeah. Yeah, you think there's nothing more, you know? Like we're standing on a concrete. The most random thing to find a big old cactus plant in the middle of the <laughs> freaking jungle. You good? Where over here? Yeah. Nice. Watch out for that spider right there. <laughs> there's even stuff all the way out here. There's an old trash can. There's there's a pole that's cemented and that's this cemented down concrete. Unbelievable. I love finding stuff like this. Let's go the hard way out, shall we? Oh, it smells delightful. The people on the plane are going to love me. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh, that was another big spider I almost walked right into. <laughs> Yes, we are. Uh, where's the spider so I know? I think I might have just walked through it. <laughs> There's another one right there, Cloudy. Be careful. It's like parad pterodactyls up there. Oh, yeah, look at the spider web I have on the camera. Wow. Where's it on? Note to the viewers at home about poison oak and poison ivy. Even if you think that you've walked through it but it hasn't brushed along your skin, you need to get home and wash your clothes separately from every other piece of clothing. Otherwise, it could contaminate your clothes and you could get it just by your clothing after the fact. Be careful. Those oils, if they're on the clothing and you don't wash it, uh, they'll break out. And the only thing to really stop poison oak or poison ivy are steroids. like with Six Flags. People used to come here with their kids, their families, eat, see the wildlife. Exactly. Go into the souvenir shop. Those are the things that always run through my mind when I'm exploring these places is everything, the hustle bustle, the everything that used to be here, the laughs, the cheering, and now it's gone. Come on, Gator, give us a show. I know, I see him. I just wish he would come up and say hello to us. <laughs> He's keeping a fair distance away. I don't think he sees many humans. We're gonna go up here, see if we find anything else, and then uh, we'll wrap it up so I can get home. I'm always running because there's so many, you know, we could walk and there could be an alligator right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's easier to cut footage than it is to Wish that you had footage that you never got. 
uh, out of the 7S, yeah, out of the 7S, the RX-10, and the 7.2, well, you have the 7.2, right? Yeah. Yeah, out of the 7.2, the RX-10, and the 7S, it's all XAVCS codec, which is really a cool codec because it actually wraps it up in an MP4, but it's a much higher quality than MP4 or AVCHD. Uh-huh. That camera she's running is AVCHD. I wish they would do a... Sony's not making those cameras anymore, which is a bummer because they're perfect for video for, for exactly this kind of a purpose. Look at that, it's crazy to see how much wildlife, or not wildlife, how much plant life is coming out of the top of the roof of that thing. Yeah. Everglades Gatorland. All right, guys, go over there for me real quick. All right, guys, come back here with me real quick. Got some fake skies out there. She said probably be where they had the sign. So much help, Claudia. You and Frank have been awesome. So we finished up here at Gatorland. This was a really cool experience. Uh, how big is it? It's not very big, but is it worth a visit? Absolutely. If I lived close to here, I'd be doing shoots out here all the time. The next time I'm in this area, I will hit this place up and do a, an awesome shoot. Um, love seeing that huge gator. That gator had to have been at least eight, nine feet. That was a big, big boy. So that was really fun. Seeing the shack, seeing everything, imagining what used to happen here, just part of the experience. Shot it with the A7R for the stills because anytime I do anything architectural or, uh, well, anytime, anytime I do anything architectural, I shoot it with the A7R for the megapixels. Um, and, I, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you, if you like any of the pictures, if you want to buy any of the pictures, you can go to jasonerphotography.com and buy them. And, uh, and just, guys, get out there, explore. If, if this isn't your fancy, if this isn't what gets your juices pumping, find something that does. I think one of the ways that I keep photography so new and fresh and alive for me is the fact that I continue to do different things. So I don't get bored of doing weddings or doing whatever else because of the fact that I do fun stuff like this. So I hope that that helps you guys to understand just how important it is for you guys to mix it up and keep those creative juices flowing. So thank you to Claudia for filming the video. Big, big help. Thank you to the mosquitoes for attacking my flesh and eating me alive. Thank you to the alligator for not attacking my flesh and eating me alive. A big thanks to Frank being secondary camera operator, assistant, my little Oprah Winfrey today. He, uh, he interviewed me for another video if you didn't make it into this one, just in case you guys know. And thanks to all of you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys subscribing, sharing my channel, sharing my videos. I really appreciate it. And these two folks are standing here because of the fact that they came to a workshop. I got to know them. And uh, 
now they're helping me assist. And I, I always open those doors out there for the good people that I find at my workshop. So if this is something that interests you, definitely come to a workshop and uh, you never know, you may be standing here with me in one of these cool locations at some point in time in your life. So until next time guys, keep shooting, never give, never give up on your dreams. Always look for ways to uh, better yourself. Always look for ways to um, stay alive and have fun. Guys, you, have, you only have one life to live. Seriously, you, you only have one. Whatever, whatever afterlife you believe in, you still only have one on this earth. So live it, have the time of your life and never regret what you do. Make mistakes, but make those mistakes out of good intentions. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. Talk to you later. Bye.